What's going on? My name is Jackson Summers, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about is Boeing a good stock to buy now? And I'm going to be doing a Boeing or BA stock analysis using technicals and fundamentals. So if you're interested in that, please keep watching. Now, before anything, I would like to say I am not a financial advisor or professional stock trader. All I'm doing is sharing my experiences and opinions with you guys, as I have found some success in the markets in the last three years. If you enjoy this video, please hit the like button as it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications so you never miss an upload. All right, let's get right into this. So currently, Boeing is sitting at $137 a share. It's down 1% today and its current market cap is sitting at $77 billion. So it's definitely not a small company. It's been around for a long time. However, its market cap has drastically declined in the last two years. Now, if you guys don't actually know what Boeing is and what the company does, it's essentially an American multinational corporation that designs, manufactures, and sells airplanes, rotorcraft, rockets, satellites, and it was founded in 1916, so it's been around for over 100 years. Now, getting into Boeing stocks technicals, we can see on February 20th, we were sitting at about $338 a share, and then as soon as the stock market started crashing, it dipped all the way to a low of about $90 a share for a total loss of about 73% in less than a month. So that was obviously pretty detrimental to the company's stock price and overall operations. However, it's been in a major decline for over a year. In March of 2019, it was sitting at over $430 a share. And since then, we've dropped about $300 a share. So that's absolutely insane and definitely doesn't look good for the company's future. Since that fall to $90, we've bounced back about 50%. So definitely a substantial amount. However, it's going to take a lot of momentum and volume to ever get past the $340 resistance and the all-time highs of $440. And to be honest, I don't see us going there anytime soon. If we look at the technicals now, they do not look good, right? We have a significant amount of resistance ahead of us. On the short term, using daily candles, we can see we have broken above the moving average and the Kaijin Sen, which is pretty much a moving average. However, it's one of the averages from the Ishimoku Clouds indicator, which I like to use instead of moving averages sometimes, because in my opinion, it works better than a 26-day moving average or exponential moving average, and it's just another baseline that I like to include within my trading strategy. Of course, simple moving averages and exponential moving averages are great. However, sometimes it's really good to explore other types of indicators that you may not have ever heard of as they can truly be the key to your trading success if used properly. However, I'm not going to get bullish until we break above and close above major resistance levels between $250 and $300 a share. A lot of other stocks have bounced back to their all-time highs and are even trading at their all-time highs, which is obviously incredible considering the sentiment within the markets right now. And you guys have to remember this stock has been in a downtrend for over a year now, which is a lot different from some of the other stocks out there like Microsoft, Apple, Facebook, Google, pretty much every top company out there was actually in a major bull run leading up to the February and March stock market crash. So with daily candles, there's not much I can talk about as we're just trading sideways for the time being. However, we could break out to the downside or the upside at any moment. I think downside is more likely just because there's much more resistance than there is support. Obviously, we do have some pretty strong support at the $90 price level. However, I think it's much more likely for us to test those support levels before testing any major resistance levels. However, looking at the weekly candles, we can get a better idea of the overall trend and we can definitely see from these candles, it's looking quite bearish as we broke below the nine exponential moving average and the Kaijin Sun back on December 2nd of 2019. And since then, we have not broken back above those moving averages, which is obviously quite bearish. Additionally, we had a MACD cross back on February 18th of 2020. And since then, the MACD has stayed bearish. Hopefully, we can break above the moving average pair with a MACD cross, which would obviously be very bullish um, if that were to happen, especially on weekly candles. However, I really don't see that happening unless we get some really good news about the company and about how they're going to start increasing their sales and profits once again, which will hopefully get investors and traders very excited. For investors out there, I think it's really important to be patient and wait for an actual confirmation of a bull market or bull run. That way you're getting in at the safest price. Because if you invest now for the future, you may be getting in at a very bad price based off the current long-term technicals. 
On the short term, it's not looking too bad and you could potentially make some money off a short term breakout. However, before investing in the stock for the next 10 or 20 years, I would personally wait until we get some confirmation that we're going into a bull market or bull trend like some of the other stocks and companies out there. And yes, that could take a long time, right? However, if you truly believe in this company and want to invest for the long term, then I suggest you be patient and wait for things to get a little bit better in the markets. So in terms of the technicals, no, I don't really think it's a good buy right now as it could easily test those lows once again before testing any highs. Of course, I could be completely wrong and we could shoot up to $300 a share within a couple of months, but with everything that's going on within the operations of this company, I really don't see those types of prices anytime soon. This is the one time where I really care about the fundamentals when I'm looking at the technicals, as this stock and company has suffered massive loss in the last year to two years, which has made for some very unpredictable price action. Now moving on to Boeing's fundamentals, we can get a better idea of what's been going on in the operations that has caused a huge drop in their stock's price in the last two years. In 2016, they had $93 billion in revenue and $5 billion in profit, which was good. And then in 2017, they increased them to $94 billion in sales and $8.4 billion in profit. And then 2018 was their best year ever with $101 billion in sales and $10 billion in profit, which is a pretty good profit margin considering their industry. Now this is when things get really bad for Boeing. In 2019, they had sales of $76 billion, which was about a 25% decline within one year, and they also lost $636 million, which means they were no longer profitable. And the crazy thing is, just one year before that, they profited $10 billion, okay? So obviously something went really bad very quickly. We can see that quarter four of 2019 was very bad for them. They missed their earnings per share goal by $3.80. And then for quarter one of 2020, they also missed their earnings per share goal by $0.09, cents, so not as bad this time, which was pretty surprising considering everything that's going on. A lot of people expect the quarter two earnings report to be a lot worse than quarter one because of the global illness that has pretty much affected every company and economy out there. I hope they can meet those sales goals for the end of 2020, but I really don't see that happening unless Boeing starts to bounce back in a major way. Now looking at my favorite fundamental indicator, which is assets and liabilities, we can see that their current assets are sitting at 133 billion and their liabilities are currently 141 billion, which is obviously greater than their assets by about 8 billion. So that is definitely not a good sign and shows that they're not a very financially stable company. A lot of people think that this will eventually drive them out of business as their liabilities are increasing at a faster rate than their assets, which could definitely be the case. However, I don't actually think it would ever get to that point because of their close relationship with the government and many major financial institutions that I think would bail them out if anything like that were to happen. Now this is pretty much due to their overall impact and influence within the aircraft space as they have been known to make the safest and most reliable aircrafts out there. And in many cases these aircrafts are specially designed for the United States government which shows how close the relationship is and if things started to get really bad with their debt and financials, I think the government would provide support so the company could stay afloat. Now I'm definitely not the only one who thinks this, there's tons of news stations and everyday investors that are bringing this up on a daily basis. To be honest guys, anything could happen. This company could go to zero or it could return to its all time highs once again in the coming future. But based off the current technicals and fundamentals, I do not think it's a good buy. Perhaps in the next couple of months, it could turn into a buy, but we're gonna have to wait and see because no matter how good your trading algorithm is, you'll never be able to 100% accurately predict the future price movement of a stock. If you have any questions about Boeing stock, please comment below as I reply back to every comment. So thank you so much for watching my Boeing stock analysis, and I hope you understand my position on why it might not be a good time to buy Boeing stock. If you would like to invest or trade any stocks commission free, I would recommend a platform called Wealth Simple Trade. It's a very easy to use app that you can just download on your iOS or Android device, and you can start buying and selling thousands of stocks and ETFs completely commission free. Now you might say, well, 
well, there's tons of other brokers that already do this. However, in Canada, there's currently no other way that you can buy and sell stocks for free. So Wealth Simple is a really good option for Canadians out there. Um, and you can sign up very easily. There's no fees to deposit or withdraw, which is great. Um, and you can start trading pretty much right away. Now, if you are in the US and you already use Webull or Robinhood, those are definitely great platforms. But I do recommend you trying this out because it's new. And I think you might enjoy how simple it is to use. So if you do want to sign up, there will be a link below. Um, and if you use my link to sign up and deposit over $100, we will both receive $5 completely free. So it will really help support me and this channel so I can keep pumping out awesome content for you guys. Now, if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and turn on those post notifications so you never miss an upload. Also, you can follow my Instagram at jacksonsummers111. I post all types of motivational and interesting content there, and you'll be alerted anytime a new video comes out. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day and peace.